in the previous chapter we have learnt about character built in functions now let's learn about date built in functions so these date built in functions perform operations on date values let's see the most commonly used date built in functions months between it returns the number of months between two dates here the months between 1st january 2015 and 1st march 2015 is 2 add months it add months to a given date if we add 3 months to 1st march it becomes 1st june last day it returns the last day of the month for the 1st march the last day is 31st march next day it returns what is the next day given for the argument here i want to find out what is the next wednesday after 1st march 2015 it is 4th march 2015 now let's go to the demo so let me add some months to january 2015 how many i'll add 34 it is 1st november 2017 so now let's find out how many months are there between january 2015 and february 1987 just picked up some random date it is 335 months now let's find out what is the last date of june 2015 it is 30th june 2015 let's find out what is the st- day of february 2015 i want to find out when is the next tuesday so it gives you 3rd february it is saying 3rd february is the tuesday like this every function perform its own operation the same functions we can use on your original tables let's perform some functions on the sales table suppose i want to find out what is the last day of a sales day what do i do last day of sales day so before that let's print the sales date also so that we know what is the value see for 1st february the last date is 28th february 1st jan it is 31st january for second even the second jan is 31st for 9th february 28th so for the given date it returns you the last day let's perform one more operation let's do add months for a sales date let me add 12 months so for 1st february if you add 12 months it becomes 1st february 2016 for 1st january it will become 1st january 16 like this depending upon your business need you can use various functions to satisfy the business requirement